in last night's homework, you had questions asking you for, and this is why it's important that we look at an object and we tell the difference between all the different things. A base edge is an edge of your base, okay? A lateral edge is an edge on your sides. The slant height is this line in the center. No, it's not going to be the same. Look at it. What that is is a leg of a right triangle and the lateral edge is the hypotenuse. When does the leg of a right triangle ever equal the hypotenuse? Never. Okay. The lateral edge is always going to be larger than the slant height. Okay. So those were the different things that it was asking you for. All right. Well, let's move on to the formulas for cones. What formula would you use to find the base edge of unilateral edge? You had to use Pythagorean theorem. And you had to use cones and cylinders. Imagine that's three dimensional and there's some more sides on the other side. Okay? I don't want to draw too many dotted lines because then it gets really confusing. Yeah. All right. What you're going off of is the fact that in the center of this thing, there is a line that's perpendicular to the base. Okay, so basically, through the very center of the base, there is a line from the vertex that goes down to it. Now, I can create from, imagine that there is a line in the center of this. Can I borrow your pencil again? Or your purple pen, or whatever. Thank you. So imagine from this line, how is this meeting the base? No matter how I turn it, what angle is formed right. where this and the pen meet? Right angle. A right angle, okay? So I can draw my next leg to this corner, right? And what I'm dealing with here is a lateral edge a height and another leg of a right triangle. And I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what this little piece is. Not if it's going to the corner. Okay? Which is why I said I'm gonna make this simple. Okay? No, not complicated like it was last night. All right. You can also, from the height of this triangle, draw a line to the middle of a side. And if you imagine the triangle in there that was formed, now you have the height, you have the slant height, and now you have half of the side. Okay? So it was all based off of the Pythagorean theorem and figuring out what right triangle to use to find your desired outcome. Okay, pyramids. Let's talk about cones. What does a cone look like? An ice cream cone. What about, what about the test that we had the name was the silver? Yeah. A cone is almost like a pyramid. It has one base, comes to a point at the top, but what's the difference between a pyramid let me get no my little pyramid. They don't have slant no edges. No edges. No lateral no edges. And it's a circle and a square at the bottom. Circle and square? Circle and square. The base is different. The base of a cone is a circle. The base of a pyramid is any polygon. Okay? Straight edges. Circle. Circle. All right. <laughs> Yes. Okay. We've already, now look, they have very specific formulas for finding the volume, the uh, lateral area, and the total area of a cylinder. But instead of you learning more formulas, a cylinder is the same as a right prism. So all of the formulas that apply to right prisms also re apply to cylinders. 
So instead of learning another formula, we've already done the cylinders. We did it on the test. Okay? All right. But what we are going to learn is Cone. cones. Something else but cones. cones. So today, we're going to move on to section 12.3, which is dealing with cones. And I can't spell. C-O-N-E-S. But pretty soon we're not going to even have to come to class. I know. And all this stuff's going to be able to do. I don't even want to come to class. Don't do that. 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 Okay, watch this very carefully. Shh. What was the lateral area? What was the lateral area of a pyramid? Perimeter times height. One half. Perimeter times the slant height, right? It's the same thing for a cone. They just have a more specific formula. So how about we just apply the same formula to both, just like we did with a prism and a cylinder. Oh. We just need to get specific. Half. How do you find the perimeter of a circle? Oh. Two times pi. Two times pi times r times, slant. Slant. So this, times the slant this height. So this is the half and the two just cancel each other out? Yes, the half and the two do just cancel each other out. So the specific formula for the lateral area of a cone is pi times the radius times the slant height. Once again, just like a pyramid, there is a difference between the slant height and the actual height of a cone. No, this is showing you how we get to this. Okay? This is the specific formula for the lateral area of a cone. Yes, I'm showing you how we came up with it. Here was general. We get very specific. This is how we find the perimeter of a circle. And then because one half times two cancel, this is what we ended up with. This is the formula for area of a cone. I mean, lateral, lateral, area. lateral area of a cone. Yes. So what do you think is the total area of a cone? Lateral area plus area of the base. How many times? Twice. Once. Once. <laughs> One base. One base. Okay. So is that a new formula? No. No. It's the same thing. And guess what? Shh. The volume of a cone, same as volume of a pyramid. It's one-third the area of the base times the height of the cone now, not the slant height, the height. So total area is? What, what, what's the volume? Wait, why do you have LA equal one half? Oh, so total area is all of that added together? These are your specific formulas. Like that's it. it is the same thing, the same general formula, but we're getting specific oh, now. Okay, we're getting specific now because the general formula for total area is the lateral area plus the area of the base, which is a circle. Okay? The volume of a cone is one third the area of the base. What shape is the base? Mm. Times the height of the cone. So could you just say lateral area for T A L? Why you said B is the same thing? Well, it's the same general formula. I like the pyramid. As a pyramid. 